Hi, my name is Stephen Hutchings. I'm an artist living in Florenceville, New Brunswick, and this is my studio in nearby Johnville. It's situated at an historic farm in an old potato house that I renovated a number of years ago into a studio space. My normal art practice mainly consists of drawing and painting. Here I'm working on a charcoal drawing of a bridge and a river on a three-foot square wood panel. The drawing will serve as the base for a painting, and to greet the finished work, I apply thin layers of paint called glazes on top of the drawing. The finished work transforms the black and white charcoal image into a full color painting. However, this video is about public art, not the art shown in galleries. The marriage pole sculpture came about because the town of Florenceville, Bristol, and the province of New Brunswick wanted to commemorate the anniversary of the building of a local and famous 125 year old house and the families who lived and worked in the house. Called the Marriage House, it was built in 1895. When the province-wide sculpture competition was announced, well, I'm also interested in public art, so I just had to apply. One of my first considerations in designing the sculpture was the site itself, the place where the sculpture was to be located, beside the busy main street and a park with many trees. I felt the sculpture needed to be tall so that it could stand out among the trees and could be easily seen as you drive by. The other main consideration was, of course, what the sculpture would be about, its content. I felt that it should tell the story of the house and the events that happened in and around it. To start, I began with a quick sketch in a notebook of a totem pole-like structure and a chair seen from below and I made a list of some of the things that could represent the activities that took place in the house. I felt that the best way to illustrate or refer to these activities would be to represent each of them with a symbol. For instance, the house was the first in the area to have its own running water, so that's represented by the water tower. The gardens, which provide things for the store to sell, are represented by the images of plants. The chairs represent the furniture sold in the store, the horse refers to the livery stable. The two overlapping faces are Mr. Findlay and his daughter, Sid. An image of the house itself would crown the sculpture. The shapes were cut out of aluminum and I glued them onto a central pole to make them a cat, which is a small scale model of the piece. When you approach the finished sculpture, you notice the solid concrete plinth or base with its sloping sides. I designed this to give the marriage pool some prominence in the park, to lift it off the ground, to give it a sense of importance. Above the base, the shapes wind upwards around the pool so that in order to see them all, one has to walk around the sculpture. Although the shapes are flat, they're arranged in a circle in three dimensions, something that sets sculpture apart from two-dimensional art like painting and drawing. And since the marriage pool is 30 feet high, to see it all, you have to look way up. For people passing by, the sculpture becomes a vertical storyboard with the shapes acting as symbols that reveal the rich history of the house and the family's activities over the 125 years when it played such an important role in its community, in the towns of Florenceville, Bristol, and in fact, in many other communities all along the St. John River.